Yeah, peace Israel. Shalom Israel. Kalalayim. Allah Hayanawa. Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Bashem. Rakakadash. Yahweh being the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Bashem in the name. Rakakadash. Spirit Holy. Holy Spirit. Double honors that pass on elders, a great millstone to teach one to rule well, who taught me this truth in its entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutation to the Akian pushing his truth all over the earth. And to the Akwith listening, listening and learning, Shalom. This is the Brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Quick couple of precepts, man. You know what I mean? The title of this lesson, Through the, through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, is uh, a great robe to multitude. Who are they? Right, we're gonna get some precepts, man. Revelation seven verse nine. You know, go right into it. You know, who's a great multitude? A great robe multitude, right? Revelation seven verse nine. After this I beheld, and this is a vision that John the Revelator had, a dream, right? After the of the of of uh after the after the destruction, right? After the destruction, and, and 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 the elect coming back down out of the uh, out of the heavens as the new as the new Jerusalem with those new bodies, right? After this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, right? A great multitude, mass of people, right? Which no man could number, right? Couldn't put a number on it. Great multitude, innumerable, a lot, right? Massive, <laughs> right? Which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people. Right? All nations and kindreds and people. Right? And this is where wacky tackies uh like to see, uh like to like to state that, you know, see, you know. He came for everybody, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. He came for everybody. Right? Now, this all nations and kindreds and people, we're gonna prove that it's uh, uh Israel we're talking about. Right, first let's go to Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. So uh, 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 all these Israelites were in one place, right? And suddenly there came a sudden sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared, and unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the holy, with the Rakakadash, the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And here's the point, verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men. Here's the point. Out of every nation under heaven. Right? So Israel being a people before a place. Out of every nation under heaven. Right now, they, and verse six. Now, when this was now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So every man was hearing these these Israelites, these Jews out 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 of every nation under heaven, speaking his own uh, whatever language he looked, whatever person he looked like at the time, speaking that language. Verse 7, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And not and how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? Right? So it was like a Rosetta Stone of the ancient world, man. Right? Verse 9, another point. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers of Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, right? All Israelites. But they're from these other nations, scattered. Right? Scattered. We're going to get that next in Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy 4, verse 7. Deuteronomy 4, verse 27.
And Yahweh, Lord, all caps, shall scatter you among the nations, and you should be left, in f left few in number among the heathen, whither, the, whither, whither Yahweh shall lead you, right? So Israel, being a people before a place, has been scattered among all nations. Among all nations. Doing what? And there ye shall serve gods, the work of, all, of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell. Right? Caught up in all these other doctrines. Plantation Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, uh, Taoism, do as thou wilt. Right? Right? Kemet, ancient Kemet, queen of heaven. Right? Caught up in all these other doctrines. Right? Loss. Loss Israelites. Sleep in, sleep, sleep in Jacob. Deaf and dumb, blind, right? Romans 11. This one through the Spirit. Romans 11. Romans 11, verse 7. What then? Right, question. Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Right? So the elect, the only one who's going to hear these words, hear this song, is the elect and the rest are blinded man all right so this great robe multitude is out of every nation every tongue we just established that right under every kindred let's read it again revelation 7 verse 9 after this i beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne right so israelites are scattered scattered throughout all these nations speaking other languages Right? Other kindreds, speaking other tongues, languages, other nations, right? Stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with wine, with slakia, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands, right? So this robe multitude is primarily going to be uh, women and children, right? First Timothy, First Timothy 2 and 15. First Timothy 2 and 15. Verse 14, so we get the point. Verse 13, so we get the point. For Adam, 1 Timothy 2 and 13, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. Adam came first, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression, right? So it wasn't Adam who was deceived, but the woman was deceived. She was in the transgression, What's trans what, what, which is sin. What is sin? Transgression of the law. 1 John, 1 John 3, 3 verse, verse 4, right? Verse 15, here's the point. Notwithstand, notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, right? Women are going to be saved for childbearing purposes, man. Through an elect man of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai. If they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety, right? So they can't be a demon pretty much, man. They got to be in order under, 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 their, under their husband, who is, a man, who, 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 who is an elect, an elect man of the Lord. Most High willing one of that number, Right? So this great robe multitude is going to be primarily women and children underneath, under, under, of some elect men, right? And it helps, right? Second Ezra 2, verse 16. Twenty-seven. Be not worry for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, right? Be not worry. Don't worry. Don't be frightened. Fear not. Right for when the day of heaviness and trouble and trouble and heaviness cometh, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah thirty verse seven. Others shall weep and be sorrowful. Everyone around you gonna be weeping and sorrowful, man. Two thirds, other nations, other heathens, right? Weeping and sorrowful, right? It's the elect, the elect men of the Lord, the elect men of Yahweh B'Shem Yahweh Shai, alone, that are gonna what? But thou shalt be merry and have abundance, right? It's the elect men of the, of the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, are going to be merry and have abundance. Verse 28, the heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, right? All these other nations, two-thirds, these other nations, they're going to be envious, maybe even scheming and plotting on, 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 on you, but they won't be able to do nothing, right? Seth Yahweh. Verse 29, here's the point. My hand shall cover thee so that thy children shall not see, see hell, Right? So children of some of the elect men of the Lord, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's who this great robe multitude is going to con consist of, right? So the great robe multitude is separate from the elect men of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. So the elect men being the 144,000, sealed with the living power, sealed with the living seal of the Most High power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and then the great robe multitude, women and children of the elect men, 
helps other elect men, right? Verse 30, Be joyful, O thou mother, with thy children, for I will deliver thee, saith Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai. Right? So, once again, this great royal multitude, right, is men of the elect. It, 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 it's Salakia. Women and children of the elect. Right? Wacky tacky love to jump on it and say, see, all nations, kindreds, and tongues. Nah, man. You, you, you have to know you. You have to you have to know you have to know what these scriptures are talking about, man. You know what I mean? Second Ezra three verse fifteen. Second Ezra three verse thirteen. Now when they live so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee a man from among them, whose name was Abraham, right? Our forefather Abraham. Chosen by the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, when everything was wicked, going on wickedly around him, right? Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou showest thy will, right? The seed of Abraham, him only. The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai showing showing his will. So what does it say in Psalms one forty seven? Psalms one forty seven, verse uh, nineteen, I think. Psalms 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. Who showeth his word unto Jacob? Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai. Who is Jacob? Israel. Israel being a people before a place. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, right? The Most High has dealt with no other nation, right? But Israel alone. Israel being a people before a place. Showed, showed, showed us the statutes and the judgments. Israel being a people before a place. The so-called Negroes, the so-called indigenous, the so-called Latinos. Verse 20. He hath not dealt so with any nation, as, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kadash. Right? Israel alone has seen these statutes and judgments. Back to 2nd Israel chapter 3, verse 15. And made us an everlasting covenant with him, Promising him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed. To him pertaineth the, the, the promises, the adoption, right? Right? Israelites, seed of Abraham. Verse 16 And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob. Right? So Isaac begat Jacob and Esau. Also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, right? The Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai chose Jacob, and put by Esau, and so Jacob became a great multitude, right? It's Israel alone, the Most High dealing with. Romans nine verse four. Verse 3, for I could wish that myself were a curse. This is Paul wishing that he could uh, bear, the, bear, the, bear the, the agony of being uh, hung on a tree, right? For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahawashai, from my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, right? Paul being an a, a Israelite, kinsman according to the flesh, right? Verse 4, here's the point. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption? Right? The seed of Abraham. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. Right? We just read that in, in 2 Ezra 3, verse 15. The covenants. And the giving of the law. We read that in Psalms 140, 40, Psalms 140, Psalms 147, verse 19. Right? And the service of Yahweh and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came. So Yahweh Shai Hamashiach only came for Israel. Right? Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Hamashiach came, who is overall Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, blessed forever, Amun. Right? So it's only Israel. Beginning with the elect. Beginning with the elect. Right? 
right? And the role, the great role multitude is going to contain primarily women and children, right? Women being saved for childbearing purposes, primarily, right? And 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 Israelites being born in the kingdom in the right mind, right? But yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, man. You know, because uh, uh, you know, I had a little had a little uh confrontation with a wacky tacky early on um today and uh you know they couldn't grasp who the who the rogue multitude was the great rogue multitude you know and um even though I was directing them to these these same precepts and and breaking it down and they, they weren't getting it man you know what I mean but yeah I pray you're edified you know out of one rataza right uh, stay prayed up, prayed out season. We're at the end of this thing, man. It's about to get, it's about to get, it's, got, it's about to wax even more and more worse. You know, Jacob's trouble is here, man. Yesime. Kwame Ashravala, wa abad babal.